Okay, so today for dinner, we're gonna do a sun-dried tomato, chicken, and tortellini bake. So first, we're gonna start with melting two tablespoons of butter over pretty high heat. And then we're gonna get that nice and melted. Okay, so now that the butter is nice and melted and getting pretty toasty and bubbly, we're gonna add in an eight ounce pack of mushrooms, mine are frozen. So whether you have frozen or fresh, use what you have. And still working over a medium heat. Since we're using sun-dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes are usually packed in oil. I'm gonna use the Bella Sun Lucci. These are my favorite. We're gonna add in about two tablespoons of the tomato oil. And you're just gonna go ahead and cook those until they get nice and brown. Probably, since they're frozen, probably five to six minutes. Okay, so now that our mushrooms have developed some nice color, we're gonna go ahead and remove them to either a plate or a bowl on the side. And you're gonna wanna use a slotted spoon like this that has some little holes so that you can leave behind the rest of the oil that's already flavored. So you're gonna go ahead and cook the rest of the stuff. So there's about a tablespoon of oil left in it. Then we're gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes. And we're just gonna go ahead and just chop them up, probably about a fourth of a cup. They're gonna kind of melt in the sauce, so don't try to be too perfect with chopping them. And throw them in the pan. And some of the redness is gonna come out in the pan. So go ahead and do that. It's gonna take two minutes. So now that the two minutes have passed, I wanted to get a little bit of char because it brings out kind of that fire roasted taste. We're gonna go ahead, put those to the side as well. And with the residual oil in there, you wanna have about two and a half tablespoons. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the sun-dried tomato oil in there. So now you should have about four tablespoons of oil or a fourth of a cup. You're gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of regular all-purpose flour. There's one and we'll do two. We'll start with three and see where we're at. Then you're just gonna wanna head, go ahead and mix this around, creating a roux. And it's gonna be kind of grainy and chunky. You wanna go ahead and cook that out so it's a nice golden brown color. So now that that's nice and cooked out, we're gonna add one cup of chicken broth or stock and one cup of milk. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and whisk that until it comes together. It will be a little bit clumpy at first and then it slowly starts to come together. And you wanna make sure you scrape on the bottom, that's called the fond. And you wanna lift that up because that has all the flavor of your mushrooms and your tomatoes. And you see how it's already kind of thickening? You can feel it on the whisk and you can also see it. It's almost turning into like a gravy. And you're gonna go ahead and add the rest. Let it cook for like three minutes on medium low heat until it comes nice and thick. You're gonna wanna add in a teaspoon of each of your seasoning, some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, parsley, basil, and oregano. Go ahead, add that all in. And if you don't have all these spices separately, you can go ahead and do a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. So now that it's nice and thick, we're gonna go ahead and add in our garlic. I'm gonna do five cloves, my little garlic press. There's two in there, two more, and last one. We're gonna add in some black pepper. About a teaspoon of Redmond Real Salt. So when you're filming, sometimes accidents happen. It's probably a little bit more than a teaspoon, but it's gonna be completely fine. So we're just gonna move on. We're gonna add in the rest of our mushrooms and our sun-dried tomatoes and half a cup of mozzarella cheese. If you don't have mozzarella, you can go ahead and add in Parmesan. That's our oven preheating to 425 because we are gonna bake it. And we're gonna add, these are two chicken thighs that I already went ahead and pre-cooked. If you have a rotisserie chicken, you can do that as well and you're just gonna wanna break it up. And then the magical part. These are pre-made tortellini. These are the three cheese and they're so good. All right, so I went ahead and mixed everything around. 
it was pretty full. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in two big handfuls of Fresh Express baby spinach. And the spinach is gonna wilt down a lot. So this looks like a lot, but by the time it cooks down, it's gonna be almost nothing. All right, so now that we're nice and mixed and the oven's preheated to 425, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven for eight minutes. All right, so now it's out of the oven. You just wanna let it cool a little bit. And it's done.